think we're live. Hey everybody, welcome into the Flippin' Hippo's YouTube channel. I'm Star the Flippin' Hippo, and happy Friday. It's January 29th, Friday, the last Friday in January. Um, think we're live. Hey, look hey, at that, live. an amateur mistake. Imagine that on my channel. <laughs> welcome in, everyone. Happy Friday, happy weekend. Um, gonna refresh this we got a couple people in here my phone's going nuts we i see greg is already here welcome in greg welcome in john um today we are going to be looking at a wholesale lot that i purchased from greg uh sheila's here so i'm gonna wait for some folks to get in before i jump in and start um showing you stuff and going over what we got I guess I can talk about February. So Monday is going to be February 1st, which is like my absolute favorite. I love when the first of a month falls on a Monday because it's like it's a brand new week and a brand new month. The only thing better than that is when it's a brand new quarter, brand new month, brand new week. It's like a fresh start all the way around. Um, so this weekend... I challenge you guys, get your bullet journals out, get your notebooks out, your phones, whatever you guys keep track of your stuff on, and um, get your to-do list ready and your goals ready for another month. Get your to-do lists together and make some plans. Create a new habit. Challenge yourself to do one new thing in February that's going to become a routine and something that's good for you. I'm shaking my leg and shaking the table, sorry. All right, let me say hi to some folks. Uh, did I say hi to Sheila? Hello, Sheila. Samantha's here. Sabrina, welcome in. Terry, Joanna's first time live. Well, I'm glad you're here. Mary's here from Ohio. Pete's here. Sandy, Lucille, and Denise. Welcome in to everybody. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump on in. I got 100 items here that we purchased. Uh, hello, Kelly, from Greg. Greg sells regularly on our Shopify. If you guys aren't familiar, we do run a wholesale business with Casey, the Rockstar Flipper. We help connect sellers and buyers together on our Shopify store, and we do wholesale on there, and Greg sells on there all the time, but sometimes he gives me first dibs on um, lots, especially if they are plush, which is my favorite, or Pearl Snaps, which is Keith's favorite, and this was one of the ones he reached out to me and asked me if I wanted it before he put it on the Shopify, and I, of course, said yes. This one, let me tell you, <laughs> Greg can attest, this was a nightmare, and it was not Greg's fault. So we made the deal, and we paid Greg at the very beginning of December, and y'all remember what happened in December, right? That was when the USPS had all the issues and the shipping delays. And it got held up at several centers or at one center. I don't even remember. But the two boxes that he sent the beginning of December finally got to Pittsburgh uh, towards, no, it was after the new year. It was like the first week of January. So like a whole month had gone by by the time they finally got here. And then they were sent back to Greg as undeliverable. And he had the correct address. So I think we just had a... I don't know how to say this nicely. I think there was just a lazy postal worker who didn't want to deal with two big boxes. I don't know. So then he had to send them back. And Greg, I hope you did what I said you did and complained or tried to get your money back because there was no reason they're undeliverable. I mean, when they came back, they drove the truck into the driveway and opened the back door of the postal truck. And Keith came around and took one box out and put it in our car. And he did the same with the second one. And could have been done with the first time. But anyways, we finally got them Monday, which was, I don't even know, the 25th. So this was like two months till it got here. Not Greg's fault. But anyway, there's 100 items here. No, there's not. There's not 100 items. There is 136 items, and we paid $100. There you go, Star. So there's 118 plush, and then we have 10 pairs of jeans and eight Western pearl snaps. 
we've paid a total of $100, which averages out to $0.73 cents an item, which is really good. Um, but the actual deal we struck up was $0.50 cents per plush, like $2 per jeans and shirt. And there's one pair of jeans we paid $10 for, and you're going to see why. Um, <laughs> you're going to see why Greg wanted 10 bucks for these and why I was willing to pay 10 bucks for them. But when you average out everything, we got 136 items at the end of the day. So 73 average cost per piece. Um, so what I'm going to do, because there's a lot here, I'm just going to start going through it. I'm going to do what I always do, and I'm going to show you guys and kind of try to teach as I go as much as I can. I might be going a little bit faster than normal. I'm going to hang out with you guys for an hour and get through as much as I can to show you as much of the haul as I can. And then after an hour, I'm going to call it. I don't like to stay live for more than an hour um, for lots of reasons, but the biggest one is I don't like to keep people longer than an hour. Your guys' time is valuable. And also today is Keith's birthday. If you haven't said happy birthday to Keith yet, there's a post in our Facebook group wishing him a happy birthday. You guys can go over there and say, hey, Keith, happy birthday. Um, but I'm going to take off at 430. We got some birthday plans with him. And um, whatever I don't get to, I probably won't be showing in the future um, just because I need to get this stuff listed. It's been way too long in the making. Um, let me catch up to the chat and then we'll just jump in kelly is here um greg thank you so much i'm still getting used to it um pamela says happy birthday keith thrifty space queens here greg did file a report um good good okay so i'm gonna start with the plush because that's my favorite and that's the most important i feel to show you guys because that's what i like to teach about the most but i want to show you the best thing I think that came in this lot um, and this is what I was willing to pay ten dollars for these are rock revival these oh my gosh these trains these are rock revival jeans these are a bolo if you ever see these in the wild be willing to pay up for them be willing to pay ten dollars for them um, even used these can go for 75 or 80 last time I checked Hopefully there weren't too many turds racing to the bottom on these. These are also a really good size. They're 38. I've only ever found one other pair of these before. So this will only be the second pair I've ever had or sold. Um, the first pair I found at a Goodwill I paid eight for. They were new with tags and I believe I sold those for 180. I think it was uh, long before we even had a YouTube channel. Um, but yeah, these are a definite, definite, definite bolo. I'll show you guys some of the tags and the buttons, just things you can look for to make sure that they are authentic. This is what the inner pockets look like. They have flat pockets on the back. They usually have the contrast stitching. If you don't know what contrast stitching is, it's this white stitching that stands out from the jeans. And these ones have a name. These are the Tucker Boot. And they're 38s, which is a really good size. I'm super duper excited about these. Um, these are designed exclusively for buckle. So that might make them a little less valuable than the regular Rock Revivals, but I'm thinking like only by like five bucks. When I get the Miss Knees that are designed for buckle, um, I start those around 45, and I start most of my at 50. So I'm still hoping to start these around 80, 85, but we'll see. I haven't comped these, um, like I said, in like three or four years. It's been a while. I know they're bolos, but I never find them in the wild. So I'm very excited about these. Um, there's a good amount of Valentine's and Easter plush. Yeah, John, they're good jeans. All right, let's jump into the plush and just start looking through them. This guy doesn't have many tags, but that's okay, you guys. If you have unique, cute plush like this, um, you can list them, and they will sell if you use good keywords. Um, I don't reckon I've ever had a ladybug plush or really see too many of these. So this is going to be something that's not oversaturated. It's unique, and there's... Uh, got to be somebody out there who loves ladybugs and it's pretty a uh, pretty good size it's kind of cute 
if you like bugs. I'm going to put these on the floor. Don't call the animal control on me. This is a baby Gans. And I do really well with any of the really, um, I didn't mean to say the word really. I do really well with any of the plush intended for infants or babies. So if you ever find the really soft plush that says infant, baby, has rattles in it, um, just make sure you use keywords like rattle, soother. You can use uh, the keyword lovey. Even though loveys are typically those blankets with the plush heads, you can use that keyword on plush that's intended for babies. Um, absolutely, Greg. I'll count it later. I'm just going to kind of run through it now. This is Toy Factory. This is a pretty good bread and butter. Some of their plush is like high-end bread and butter. Some of it can be poop. Um, this is a pretty unique monkey, so I'm going to say he's going to be a good bread and butter. He's got Velcro hands. You can't use the word Velcro. So what I usually say is sticky hands. You can say hook and loop, but I hate that term. So I usually just say they have sticky hands. But he's nice and colorful, and he's different. Um, I do good with monkeys anyway. I've had some really poop brands of monkeys before that sell for bread and butter prices. This is Hug Fun. I like Hug Fun. It's a good bread and butter brand. Um, they make some really unique plush that's kind of different, which I like because you don't want to have all the oversaturated plush. This is a cute teddy bear. His head does not move, so he's supposed to be turned to the side. He's got a bow. He's different. This guy's different, too. Oh, and he's Build-A-Bear, so that's even better yet. So this is like a... I mean, if this were a shirt, I would call that Heather, Heather Purple because it's like a Heather print. Do you know what I mean? He's cute. And I um, he's got a ribbon on him, so... If anybody knows what that ribbon is for, if it's for a specific type of condition that I'm not aware of, please let me know. Because I don't, I'm not familiar with that particular ribbon, but that probably makes it more valuable. But he's cute. And that's an older Build-A-Bear tag, by the way. Hey, Bill and Dave are here. Welcome in, guys. Say hi to them. They got the blue wrench there. Um, Joanna says her dog steals her plush. Um, this is Heritage by Gans. So this is an older Gans. Um, I'm not quite sure if it's exactly vintage. It has to be 20 years old to be vintage. I'm not seeing. I need to go have my eyes checked, guys. Honey glasses. Can you tell? I can't see a date on the tag, but that is definitely a older. His twishy hairs are in the way. Okay, there we go. That's an older Gans tag, so he might even turn out to be vintage. Vintage? Vin I can't speak either. I can't see. I can't talk. He doesn't have eyes. Yes, he does. He has eyes. <laughs> I'm like, he doesn't have eyes. He's really fuzzy, but. He's got eyes in there. See him? He's cool. I'm excited about him because he might turn out to be vintage. This is another hug fun, and this is one of the Easter ones Greg was talking about. So if you find chickens like this or little ducks, this is probably a duck and not a chicken, um, you can put keywords like Easter, spring, things like that, and they'll sell pretty quickly for you. I always like to put um, spring, Easter, um, I guess those are the only two I really use. This is Pebbles, and he's a vintage Russ. You can see the Russ, and then he has a name. Now, some of these vintage Russ animals with the names I've had have sold for 12 bucks, and some of them have gone for over 20 I think it really just depends on the animal and um, how sought after they are. 
this lamb, I might even put, you know, spring and his keywords in the title. Um, I don't know. I associate lambs with springtime. Maybe I'm just weird. That might be what it is. I'm not sure. I don't want to. I'm sure I can Google image it, but oh look, another build a bear, and we're gonna strip her. You guys by now should know how I feel about build a bear and their clothes, unless it's a themed build a bear who's specifically like a specific theme, and is supposed to be in their outfit as part of their theme. For instance, if you have Beauty from Beauty and the Beast, and she's in her like iconic gold dress. I always use that one as an example, but it's the best example. Um, you would leave her in the dress. But if you have a plain Build-A-Bear in an outfit and you source it, strip the bear naked, sell the bear. I will start this one around 18 19 bucks, maybe even 20 because he's a little bit larger. And then I have a little outfit. And depending on the outfit, some of them will go for, has little shorts. How cute is that? Little underwears. And a little top. And some of these outfits will go for $12. Um, but I sold uh, some Beauty and the Beast clothing by itself once for like 50 bucks. So it just depends on the particular outfit. But even if you sell the outfit for 12 and the bear for you listed at 20 and take a best offer of 18, you're making more money than if you sell them dressed. So I always strip them. Um, the thing I really like about their clothes, side note, I don't know why, but it tickles me. The little hole for their tail. It just makes me laugh. That's gold. Yeah, you need to get your Build-A-Bear clothes up. So this is Sugarloaf. It's kind of along the same lines of Hug Fun. It's usually like a crane animal. Um, like prize in those machines. Uh, it's made by Kelly Toy, which is a good bread and butter brand. Typically, some of the Kelly Toys can be bolos. They make like the costume kids. He's cute. He is a springtime animal. But he looks like a cow to me. Is he supposed to be a goat? I think he's a goat. Yes, because he has his little... He's a goat. He's a goat. He's cute. He's really cute. Look at his face. Hello, I'm cute. Purple bear is Nikki bear for childhood cancer. Thanks, Lane. Thanks for looking that up. This guy... um. Doesn't have any tags, but that's okay. He looks like a Build-A-Bear, but without the tags, I really wouldn't be willing to say that because I don't want to get my account in trouble. But he's still a cute bear. He's got like a little brown nose and brown ears. Not a bear. He's a dog. He's cute. I still will probably put him up for 15 or 16 just because he's cute. Um, this guy's a backpack. Wow. And he is a cow plush. Now, I've seen cow plush before. Um, I want to say they're not exactly poop, but they're not exactly bread and butter. It just depends on what you find. Now, a backpack is a good find. I have done well with all kinds of backpacks, bags, coin purses, just any kind of animal that doubles as a bag or something. Um, all the brands. All the different kinds of animals I just do well with. I think kids just really like the novelty of having a bag that's a stuffed animal. And he's cute. He And he's really soft. He's super soft. He's my friend. Okay, moving on. I would keep everybody I, if I could. I love stuffed animals. I'm going to strip this Build-A-Bear. So this is another Build-A-Bear, and it came with an outfit that we're going to take off. I um, set these aside, and whenever I photograph jeans is when I photograph my Build-A-Bear outfits. I just do them as flat lays. 
So I'll just set them aside. And whether I have one outfit or 10, the next time I go to do a photo shoot of jeans, when I have a jeans day, I just do these at the same time because um, I do my jeans on a poster board flat way. And I just do these then. I don't do them at the same time as I do the flush. This one has peace signs all over it. It's really unique. This one's pretty super cool. Um, I would say low end, this one would probably go for 20 depending on the comps. There's always turds. So if there's a bunch of turds who have lowballed this guy or, you know, listed him too low, I would go for 20 <laughs> I would really like more like 25 for one this unique, but um, this one, I hate the delay in the chat because like somebody will say something about a plush and I'm like 10 ahead and I'm like, which one are you talking about? Um, cutting off the tags. I've never seen the peace sign one either. I've um, seen some similar and some tie-dye ones. Here's Mary Meyer. She's a bread and butter brand. I um, sell little tiny Mary Meyers like this all the time for like 12 to 15, depending on the animal. I don't know why I'm crowding my table. Should just be piling them on the floor. Sorry, guys. I need the room. This is a Gund. Gund is a good brand. I do enjoy this brand. And this is cute. Look at his little squished face. He looks like a um a Pomeranian, doesn't he? I wouldn't, um, Megan, I would never pass up any build a bears ever. Um, the plainest of the plain of the plain. Like the plain tan, everybody's got one on eBay. Build-A-Bears, I sell for $18 all the time. I don't pass up any Build-A-Bears ever. Um, and then if you find something like that that are unique, you absolutely want to grab them. This guy really does look like a little Pomeranian, doesn't he? His little squished face, he's so cute. If that is Casey and Keith texting and right, yeah. Y'all need to shut up. I, I don't think I muted that. Oh, look, it's a Paddington bear. Ooh, Lori sold the gun dog for 40 bucks. Yep, gun does a good brand. This is a Paddington bear, and he has... Um, it's kind of faded and old, but he still has his little tag. You can see it, and on the back, it's faded. But he still got it. I had a Paddington bear once who was missing buttons on his coat, and I think his ear was ripped. And he sold, and he sold to somebody in Florida that year. Everybody was evacuating for the hurricane. Somebody in Florida bought him, and he was damaged, and it was during a hurricane. <laughs> Paddington bear will sell, guys. Um, this is the Barrington Collection. Barrington Bears are pretty good. I do like them. This one's really cute. She's got a little purse. I'm going to see if it opens. I'm nosy. No, it's sewed closed. And a little dress and her little hat. She's got a little bit of... Um, <clears throat> you see it? So if I spray that with Awesome... I should be able to run her through the wash and then air dry her and she'll be fine. And then we can list her as a spring plush. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen one of these in forever. I had these as a kid. Do you guys remember the Care Bear Cousins? This is the monkey. He needs a bath too. So, what I do with plush with tags that need a bath, um, I just cut their tags off and then give them, spray them down with awesome, run them through the wash, air dry them, and then I reattach the tags with the tag gun. 
So I'm really excited about him. He's Playful Heart Monkey. Care Bear Cousins. Guns are good. I like guns. Not guns. Guns. <laughs> I'm collectors. I can't read. Oh, Dandy. So this is a Dandy, and he actually has his collector's choice gold coin attached to him still, which is good. Dandy is a good brand. I do like selling Dandy. I do the best with their rabbits. For some reason, every time I list a Dandy rabbit, it could be any time of the year. It could be Christmas, middle of the summer. I list a Dandy bunny, and I put Easter and spring in the title, and it sells. Um, but all Dandy does really well. And I've never found one or had one with this on it, but I understand that that makes it a little more valuable. So that's my first one with the gold coin. Oh, I've sold him before, too. So this is Rodney Reindeer. He was a toy. He's a Hallmark expression. But he came in um, Burger King kids' meal toys a long time ago, like when I was a kid. <laughs> And I found him before at the Goodwill for 50 cents and, and picked him up. And if I remember correctly, he sold for like 12 or 14. So he's a good bread and butter. Valentine's Dandy do well, but I do the best with the rabbits. Fairview. Never heard of it, but look what it is. It's an Easter bunny. So I like Easter bunnies. They seem to do well no matter the brand. Um, again, you want to use words like rabbit, Easter bunny, spring. This one I'd toss in carrot. That makes him cringe. It happens. Sometimes they need baths. Sometimes they need baths. It's okay. I've sold the bigger version of this one. I recognize him. So this is another rust. This one's called Casanova. I had the long one that laid down. He went for like 15, I think, maybe. This wee one might go for about 12, depending on how many are listed and how many turds are undercutting. But that's a good bread and butter. This is Everything Love. Never heard of it. No, yes, I have. There's his tush tag. The thing with Dandy is sometimes they make lines for... Um, holidays, like I'm sure this one was made for Valentine's Day. And so they'll have different hang tags up here that I don't recognize. But their tush tags are very recognizable. They always look the same. And the other thing I wanted to mention is some of the times with the hang tags at Dandy, they have a very cheap price here because these were a Kmart plush. So you can either take a permanent marker and black it out. Or what I like to do is I just take a pair of scissors, which I don't even have, because they're way across the room. I can see them. But what I'll do is I'll just cut the little corner off with that price on there. And then I'll have like a corner cut out of my tag, but that's okay. I'd rather have a corner cut out of my tag than some buyer... How come I paid 16 for something that said three? <laughs> Christy wants to know if there's a date on my Fairview. I do not believe. Nope. No date. No date, unfortunately. Here is, oh, <laughs> the Beanie Baby. I know I badmouth these guys, but some of these do okay. In general, I have no depth perception at all. Oh, my gosh. Sorry, guys. This one's name is Ears. If I could get it to the camera... In general, Beanie Babies are poop. Beanie Buddies and Beanie Boos are good. But being that this one is a bunny, 
I'm going to go ahead and list them. And I'm going to comp him, but I'm going to guess he's going to go up for about 12 to 14, which is, you know, good for bread and butter. Most have a date. Hmm. You're welcome. I've never seen a fair view or heard of them before. It's a new to me, Miranda. Um, this is a chicken or a duck or something. I don't know why, but every time I see a chicken, I want to call it a duck. And then I call ducks chickens. I, I have, like, no concept of birds. <laughs> this little guy, I believe, is a little tiny chick. He doesn't have any tags, but he's a little tiny spring springtime animal. So, with the good keywords... He can probably sell for about 14 And he is super cute. I just, oh, I just pulled pieces of his tail out. I'm sorry, elephant. He did not have no tag. But isn't he precious? I don't... I didn't mean to pull his tag out. Anyway, his tail. He doesn't have any tags, but he is very, very cute and very unique. Or she. She's pink, I guess. I don't know. Very unique. And with these kinds of animals that are super unique like this and realistic looking, you could have the poopiest of poop brands and or absolutely no tags and you can still list it high with good keywords and good pictures. Bird dyslexia. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at this wee little guy. This is a zip along bunny. He is supposed to do something. I don't know. He's cute. It says zip along bunny features motion. I can feel. I don't. He's probably not working anymore. But that's okay. I list non-working electronic plush all the time. Being that he's... Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> he does work. Thanks, Greg. I couldn't figure it out. I'm like squishing them. Um, he's... Well, now that I know he works, if he didn't work because he's so tiny, I would have lotted him up with, like, another spring plush or something. But since he works, um, his original tag says seven, six dollars. I can't even read numbers now. Oh, it even says right there. <laughs> Pull my tail. If Star knew how to read, I would have read that. Anyway, his tag says $5.95. So what I'll probably do is cut the very bottom of that off, just like I did would do with the dandy. Can you guys even, is my camera focusing? I'll just cut that off on that dotted line so they can't see the original price. Um, being at the time of year it is right now, I'm probably going to list him for like 12 maybe even 14 I don't know. I'll have to see if there's any others listed and what other people are doing. Um, this is the Kelly toy, Valentine's plush. I don't know where I put that other pound. <laughs> if you wonder what I'm doing, Valentine's Day is like two weeks away. So I want to make sure that I get these photographed right away tomorrow um, so that I can get them up in time, hopefully. Oh, I think it is. I thought, oh my gosh, it's Snuggle. You guys remember Snuggle from the... Fabric Snoffner, Snoffner, Fabric Snoffner. Maybe I shouldn't do videos on Friday. Maybe by Friday I'm just so burnt out I can't read. I don't know what animals are. I can't speak English. This is Snuggle from the Fabric Snoffner. <laughs> Isn't he cute? What would you say is the minimum dollar amount that is worth your time to list? Um... So, to start, I would say 12. 
Um, but plush that's been around for six months to a year that started out at 12, I'm okay knocking down the 10. Um, but I don't really like to start things at 10. Um, and if it's going to be something that's going to start at 10, I would try to lot it up with something else to make it more expensive. But then I say that, but then those mystery boxes that I bought with um, Robert that we opened together, there were quite a few um, poopies in there that I did go ahead and list at 7 and $8 like the little unicorn keychains and stuff. But I felt justified in doing that because I had plenty of Pokemons and other plush that were listing at 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks. So it kind of was like it balanced out. Um, so, but I would say 12 off the top of my head. Snuggles. He's creepy. I think he's creepy. But creepy cells. He's not as creepy as the um, Five Nights at Freddy's bear. But he is, I don't know, I think he's cute. So yeah, I would say $12, back to Greg's question. Um, but then that's, you know, sometimes I do less than 10 if it makes sense. If I buy a lot and there were really expensive ones in there, it I might just be like, then I'm just going to photograph the whole box and it'll all balance out. This is a Gans. Um, I'm probably not going to sell this. This looks like Keith's sister's dog. I might give it to her. Um, Keith's sister has a wiener dog. It's a long hair. It's not a short hair like this. It got long hair. But her little wiener dog is black and brown. Her name's Ellie. This looks like her. I might give that to Alicia because I think she'll love it. Um, I want to find lamb chop in the wild. So I found a lamb chop once at the bin. So this was years ago, right? Because we haven't been to the bins in years. This was before I was even, this is before I was even injured. When I was still working outside of the house at my job and I was going to the bins with Keith. Um, on the weekends when he was doing this by himself. So this was forever ago. But we found this lamb chop. I mean, it was probably like four feet long, and it was meant to be a dog toy um, on the tags. It said it was a dog toy, and it was like four feet long, and it had a squeaker inside of it. But it was lamb chop. And by weight, because it was so big, I think it was like 50 cents, maybe a dollar. Um, and it sold for like I want to say 75, but it may have been like we listed it at 75 and took a best offer of 60. But we were like so excited because it was our first real exciting plush find. I think that might have been when my love of plush started. But yeah, she was giant. And we were like, this is supposed to be a dog toy. I guess it's supposed to be for like big dogs. And then I wondered, did the person that bought it buy it for her dog or did they buy it? Because it looked new. It was in really good condition. It wasn't dirty at all. It was nice cream colored with the curly little lamb hairs. No dirt. Pristine like new. I wondered if they just bought it for themselves. I have not heard of Bells. This is Sugarloaf, which again is um, a pretty good bread and butter brand. And these unique plush I do like because you're not going to find many of these karate bears on eBay. So it's going to be more unique. And again, if you're the only one or one of a few that have a plush, you get to set the price. Now, I wouldn't go astronomical. This isn't something I would be like, oh, 50 bucks. But I mean, if I was the only one with this, maybe 18, just based on the size and brand. Is this a piece of, this is a piece of cheese. It's a Shopkins. <laughs> I like Shopkins. They don't sell for very high amounts, but they flip pretty fast. They're by Fiesta. Um, yeah, most of the Shopkins I've had aren't very high dollar, but they go pretty fast. I've had a taco and a strawberry and um, a couple other foods. This one's a cheese. We're running a low on time. Aurora, that's a good brand. Aurora makes a lot of these realistic looking animals, which do well. 
This is a wolf or a husky dog. It's got blue eyes. It's probably a husky dog. Greg says, I, no, I probably wouldn't, honestly, because I'd been in healthcare for 20 years and I loved my job. I'd probably still be doing that. Or I would still be doing that. I can't even say probably. I would still be doing what I was doing. I never would have gotten involved. Weird, right? I can't, I can't think of life not this now. And I think I'm unhirable now. <laughs> hey, a Neopet. I think we were just talking about these in the group. Didn't someone just have a post in um, the Facebook group about Neopets? These are good. We've had wee little Neopets like this that sold for 18, 20 bucks. This is a good sized one. Depending on the character that you get, um, they can go for 40, 50 bucks sometimes. Then you can find them that are for 12, the wee little ones. It just depends on the character. But they're all good. I would always pick up a Neopet I found in the wild. We have a panda bear. I can't read his tush tag, but duh, he's got it right on his foot. I've sold Panda Express panda bears before. They go for about 12 to 14. You man, welcome in. Sold three Neopets for 60 bucks. Yep. What's meant to be will always find a way you are, are, are right where he should be. I believe that. This is Muffy Wonder Bear. Her name is Muffy. And she's got angel. She's got a lot happening here. She's got a dress and she's a wings. She's an angel. I was kind of looking for a tush tag. I don't see one. But she's pretty super cool. She's a limited holiday. Oh, she's vintage. Can you? 1989. Hey, same age as Keith. Yeah, the small ones even do well sometimes. That's a really good deal. My kids are teenagers but won't give me their Neopets. Neopets are cool. So this guy is vintage. I could tell you this right off the bat without even looking at the date. Why? You guys have probably heard me many times in my What Sold videos tell you that in the old times, in the old times, back when I was born, they used to print the plush tags on a long strip of fabric, fold it in half, and attach it to the plush. And you can tell when you read it that it was printed on a long strip and folded in half and attached. I could also tell because I saw the word Wallace. Wallace Berry and Company is old school. And this is from 1981. How very exciting. He's going with the Valentine's Day plush because I want him up right away. I do good with like nowadays horses. So that's really cool. Am I that close, huh? Cool. I didn't look in a while. Gans, oh, no code. Look, if you guys ever find a Gans without a code that still has his envelope attached to him, just take it off. Ain't, you know, nobody's looking for the empty. I can't get it off. There we go. Nobody wants that. So I'll just take it off. He's a lemur, though. The Gans lemurs usually do really well even without their codes. It's, um, I think, harder to find more obscure animal that has a following. People like these. I do really well with Gans. Um, some of them are bad. I'm going to tell you that right now. Some of them, even with the code, are just poop. Some of them are good. It just really depends on the animal. They're also very long tail. Um, Gans are probably... Some of the longest ones that take to sell. Yvette's here. Welcome in. I have never heard of that. But look how cool this thing is. It's a mouse. It's a stitch mouse. <laughs> stitch mouse. Um... 
I really couldn't answer that with just one. I would say dragons and mermaid, like the mythical creatures have a good following, especially dragons and unicorns. Um, as far as like realistic looking animals, it, it's, it depends on how saturated they are. So I would say whatever has the least amount listed at the time. Um, owls, believe it or not, tigers. I've noticed whales too pretty good and seals. Um, lemurs just stuff that's like you know people like them and collect them but they don't have a ton of them they're harder to find and i think it changes too because it changes with how many are available um fads change i guess easter bunnies do really well i don't think there's just like one but um those are a couple like dragons, unicorns, mermaids, um, definitely owls for some reason, and tigers, seals, whales. Um, I've had only ever like two otters and they sold fast. So maybe like water animals and mythical animals. <laughs> um, oh, and what is Timon? Meerkats. Meerkats. I make dragons. <laughs> Tiger. Yeah, see, and that's it too. Things like things change depending on what's going on in the world. Tiger King made tigers popular all of a sudden. Um, yeah, it just kind of changes with, with what's going on in the world and the movies and shows. Thank you so much, Christy, for the three dollar super chat. She says, Thank you for all your tips. They have helped. Thank you. Um, I'm glad to help. So I have a fiesta which is a good brand again. It's made by, um, it's made by Fiesta. Fiesta's made by Fiesta, guys. Imagine that. <laughs> Sorry. It's Friday. Um, this is an Easter bunny. I think I'm just gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna have to clean this up after the show and then I'll have to sort Valentine's and Easter and spring. I wanna get those up first. Um, we've had this exact Donald Duck before. This is Disney Store. Um, I think he went for 20, but that was like three years ago. Could be different now. Again, people like to race to the bottom and they shouldn't. <laughs> Plus from Atlanta sell very well, yes. Um, and I think, um, I am having a big brain fart. DC Comics. And the guy that plays the guy, all the girls think he's so handsome. And he has a trident. Oh, my gosh. Aquaman. There you go. That helped make that more popular as well. Aquaman. Um, <laughs> Greg says, mind blow. Did you know Fiesta makes Fiesta? Here's some precious moments made by precious moments. <laughs> making fun of myself. Um, this is Alex the Lion. He is a precious moment pal. So I've never seen one. Oh my gosh, his face. <gasps> Look how precious his little cute face. Okay, I'm sorry, but that is a cute face. I've never seen the precious moment animals before. He's so stinking cute. Oh, I might have to keep him. <laughs> he's so adorable. <laughs> oh, he's cute too. I've had these before too. It's called the dog. And it is four toys, if you can see that. I've had these before. They have wee tiny bodies and big giant heads. And I think they go for about 14 or 15. A small seahorse for 21, that's awesome. This is, geez. I can't even read it. It's a stuffed animal. <laughs> it's a bear. It's 
cute. It has a rainbow um, onesie thing on. I cannot read the tag to save my life. Plush land, maybe. Plush land. So cute. Oh, things with rainbows do really well, too. Um, rainbows, tie-dye, stuff like that does really well. Oh, this is a rust, isn't it? It has to be. It has no tags. Oh, boy. See, I'm always hesitant to put, um, he has tape on his ear. I'm always hesitant to put, you know, the brand if they don't have tags unless it's obvious like if he didn't have tags you guys clearly that's donald duck right clearly um i think this is a rust pretty recognizable to me as a rust dog but i'd be hesitant to say so so i will just list him as a valentine's day love heart dog or whatever he'll still do well probably 14 bucks robert you missed the whole entire show Someone in my area donated a ton of Atlantis plush, and I got them all. Oh, stingrays do really well, too. I think I've only ever had two or three of those that we found in the wild. Nope, didn't find them in the wild. I'm wrong there. I got those from Greg. They came in one of the wholesale plush lots I bought from Greg. There were two stingrays in there, or three. Maybe there were three, and they did really well. Um... I think the rainbow does have to do with the gay pride. Um, absolutely. And then um, tie-dye is just popular. Get Like the bell-bottom jeans are back in style. I think just like 70s stuff's coming back in style. Robert comes in at the last minute and missed everything. The stingrays do do well. I think it's just um, animal plush do well. But hey, welcome in, Robert. We got a spring bunny. Oh, he's cute. He's generic, and I don't care because look how cute. He's got like a flower, and he's an Easter bunny, and he's for the spring. I have lots of new friends. <laughs> I was 10 minutes early, and then I got distracted. That's hilarious. Here's another dandy. Love Dandy. Look how cute she is. She's got a pink hat. Oh, she's dear. I'm going to list her as a spring plush, too. Then we have uh, Kelly Toy. And this is, I'm pretty sure, a duck. Look at his little... Okay, you guys, I have a thing for animals with a tuft of hair. I don't know if you guys remember way back in the day, I used to find Care Bears all the time and they always had that little tuft and it would just, it tickles me. I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. The little tufts. The tufts of hair and the holes in the Build-A-Bear pants for their tails are the cutest things ever. Oh, this is cool. This is a Starbucks coffee bear. Now, I've never found one of these before, but I hear they do really well. Robert, have you ever had a Starbucks spare? I've never found one, but I hear they do really well. He's got his original price tag on here, but it's perforated, so I will rip that off. Absolutely. I don't like to leave original price tags on. He is cute. Many of them. I have one from Seattle. Um, I feel like there's two questions here. Hold on. Um, Diane, yeah, you're coming in towards the end here. The average price to ship plushies, and then I see a buy it now, but not a lot. And I don't see a question for that. Mm, why am I lost? The average price to ship plushies, it really depends on the size of plushies that you have. Um, 
these guys like this, three bucks maybe, three fifty. The bigger plush, maybe four to five if you're pushing a pound. I mean, I don't have many that go over a pound unless they're giant. Speaking of, this guy feels heavy, but look what he is. Neopets. But he feels heavy. He feels like he weighs a pound all on his own. Um, but yeah, for like the medium to small plush, I'd say like three, three fifty is the average. And if you get into like bigger than that, they're gonna average like four to five. But I really don't know because we have so many different sizes going out all the time. It really just depends on the size you have. Um, I'm seeing I would do a buy it now, but not a lot, and I don't see a question for that. So if that was your question and I missed it, put it back in, guys. Um, there's maybe six Starbucks bears. Jacqueline, I hope you feel better if you haven't left yet. Um, Megan, how long have you had your barista? Remember, you guys, plush is really long tail. So a lot of times when someone says to me, it still hasn't sold. Um, unless it's been up for like four years, you're, <laughs> it's not like it's been that long. No, that's exaggerating, but plush are super long tail. Um, I'm not sure, John, we have so much going on right now. I'm not sure about that. I'd like to do it again, but we just have a lot going on right now. Um... Oh, the SeaWorld Orcas? I would sell them one by one. Absolutely. Individually. Yeah, the Neopets is going to be some money, money, money. Absolutely um, sell them individually. Four years is a few months for me. Well, yeah, plush is different. So, I always say like in plush years because... A plush that takes a year to sell is equivalent to, like, a piece of clothing that took, like, three months. It's it's a different world. There are some that will sell overnight. There's some that will sell within a week or a month or faster. Um, but that's not common. And then there's always the chance that you're going to be in the right place at the right time for someone looking for a particular plush. Um, but for the most part, you need to realize that you're going to list it and you're going to sit on it. As far as the orcas, Tawny, I would absolutely list them individually. You're not going to come across a lot of people that want to buy a whole lot of whales. They're probably just looking for a couple. There is a ton more in here, and we're pushing 430. Um, if you guys have any more questions before I go, throw them in the chat now. I'll show you guys a couple more of these plush um, before I wrap up and leave, and I'll try to get to your questions as, as many as I can. If you have them, throw them in. Um, yeah, Neopets are super good. I love Neopets. No, we haven't even got through the first box. I showed the jeans from the second box, and that was it. We have a blue dock for the spring. Oh, he's got a tuft of hair, too. Tufts of hair. Got an elephant. No tags, but I'm cute. That's the thing with plush. If they're cute and you take good pictures, you can still sell them without tags. This is exciting. Can you see it? Me and my not having any depth perception at all. Hey, Rods. And he's a cute panda. <laughs> Scully Star Fashion. It's Rita. Hey, Rita. Welcome in. Thank you. Um, yeah, Robert, you were late. <laughs> we were talking about the tiny Neopets earlier. Um, someone had three of the little ones that sold for 60 bucks, and I was talking about the ones we used to sell. Um, I don't know if I'm going to come back for part two or if I'm just going to try to get this listed. I still have an entire um, 
Oh my gosh, you guys don't even know how much inventory we have right now. <laughs> I bought out um, Bill and David's plush inventory because they're moving out of plush. I still have most of that um, downstairs that I was going to do in the haul videos. I still have three unopened thread up boxes. <laughs> we just got the 2000 wholesale shirts in. Um, so I got a lot of stuff to show you guys in hauls. Um, and I've, I mean, if I don't get, if I don't get through everything that I've already shown by next Friday, I might be showing you the rest of this haul video next Friday, next, the rest of these boxes. Otherwise it'll be something else. Like if I run out of stuff to photograph and list, I'll be getting into these, but, um, showed you quite a bit. I got tons of stuff. It's platypus. No, it's a duck. It's a duck. I told you, I don't know what my... It is. It's a platypus. It's a duck. <laughs> Star doesn't know birds or platypuses, apparently. Um, give it to me. I'll do the video for you. Well, yeah. I should just list it all, but then I'm like, eh, I want to show it in videos, and then it's like, I still have jeans to work on. I don't know. Um, I'm not. I'm not really frazzled. I'm just... Like, I don't know what to do. Like, do I show it on a haul? Do I just list it? Do I... I don't know. But we do have a lot going on right now. So, um, you guys, if you forgot to ask a question and you think of it later, this will be available on YouTube um, as an upload. You can come back and comment on the video later. Or you can tag me in my Facebook group, which is the easiest and best and fastest way to get a hold of me. It's called Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. Um, you can look for it on Facebook. There'll be a link in the description box once this is uploaded. Um, I check in there all the time. It's the best way to get a hold of me. <laughs> I just wanted to use the word frazzled. I probably am frazzled. Um, it's Friday. Oh, he has a tuft of hair, too. All these animals are so cute. Anyway, hit the thumbs up before you leave, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so that you are notified when I put out new content and when I go live. And go be productive. Go make some money. Make sure you take some time for yourself this weekend. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you spending the time with me today and watching me unbox all of my new friends. And thank you so much to Christy for the $3 super chat. Really appreciate it. Y'all are the best. I'll see you next time. Bye.